What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. So today I got something pretty, uh, pretty straightforward I think for you guys. We're gonna look at five different browsers that you can go into and manage your autofill form data. So things like uh, addresses, uh, credit cards, save website like credentials, uh, username and passwords, things like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. We're going to start with Google Chrome since that seems to be the most popular browser. But to get to your settings, you're going to go up into the top right hand corner, click on the three dots and then come on down and click on settings. This is going to take you to your main setting page and we're going to want to look for the section that says autofill. Now you'll notice you've got passwords, payment methods, addresses and more and you can save these things individually. So if you wanted to save passwords but not your address, you can do that. So to edit each category, if you just click on passwords, you'll see that currently mine says, or mine is toggled off to offer to save passwords. So if you want to be able to save passwords for different websites, you're gonna want to make sure that this toggle switch is on. And when you enter your login information for that website, it's gonna ask you to save it. Once you do have it saved, it's gonna appear right underneath where it says save passwords. And it's also going to log if you've won or if you've opted to never save a password. So again, if you've saved something, it's going to appear here. If you uh, typed in maybe like some bank information and you didn't want it to save that and you clicked never, it's going to show up under here where it says, okay, this website was never saved. Going back to the uh, main settings page, if we go back one, you can go down to payment methods and right here, same option, save and fill payment methods. You can toggle that on and off and you have the option uh, to see what saved payment methods are here. So if you have credit or debit card information that you want to autofill, that information will be saved right there. Going back to the main screen to addresses and more, if you click on that, same scenario, save and fill address. If you want that turned on, you're going to want to make sure that you have that toggled on. And then any of your addresses are going to be saved down below. And if you need to remove one, you can always click the little three dots. You can edit it or remove it. And of course, that'll edit it for that specific address. The next browser that we're going to look at is Firefox. Now, I don't traditionally use Firefox, so there's not going to be anything saved in here. But what you'll do is you'll come up again into the top right hand corner, click the three little parallel lines and then come on down and left click where it says option that's got the little gear icon next to it. From here, we're gonna go all the way to the left side of the screen and we're gonna tap on or click on where it says privacy and security. Once you've done that, again, scroll down to where you've got logins and passwords, forms and autofill. So again, you can have the autofill information saved by checking each one of these boxes, ask to save logins, passwords for websites, etc autofill logins and passwords you can uh, select and deselect these to fit your preference and then if you do have anything saved as far as logins you'll click on saved logins and they're going to show up under here going back if you have the forms and autofill data you can autofill your address and your credit cards just like you can with chrome you can uncheck or check those depending on if you want those to be saved or not and once again if they are saved you're gonna show up under saved addresses where you can actually click on one, edit it or remove it if there was something in here. And same thing with credit cards. If you clicked on save credit cards, they would show up in this list and you can edit or remove it as well. Next up, we have Microsoft Edge. Now note that this is the new Microsoft Edge. If you haven't updated it, uh, you will be eventually probably forced to update to the new Microsoft Edge. But if you are using it, you're gonna to wanna to come up to the top right hand corner Click on the three little dots. Again, I don't use Edge, so we're not going to see any form uh, data in this browser, but uh, this will definitely show you where you need to go. Come on down and left click on settings. From here, right at the very top, you're under the profiles section. You've got your personal info, passwords, payment information. You can click each one of these. Again, you've got that toggle switch to toggle on and off if you want it to save. And then anything that's saved will be saved right below. Uh, the personal info you can see where it says you'll see save personal info here going back same thing with passwords if you go to passwords offer to save the passwords anything that's saved will be here anything that you have opted to not save just like chrome is going to be saved right here so there's a lot of similarities with chrome and edge now because edge now uses roughly the same architecture that chrome does and so some of this is probably going to look familiar once again going back 
Payment information, this is where your credit cards are going to be star, uh, stored. You can click on save fill payment information. Again, you've got a toggle switch and then anything that you have saved will be right here. If you want to manually add a card, you can do so. Type in add card and you can scroll through and add that information. So that is where to find it on Microsoft Edge. Fourth on the list is we've got the Opera browser. Again, I don't use Opera. You can definitely tell that I'm a creature of habit and use Chrome. However, things are gonna be very similar just like you saw to some of the other three. So again, uh, open up Opera and come up into the top right hand corner to where you see these three little lines. Left click on those and then come on down and click on the go to full browser settings. It's gonna load a new page and on the left hand side at the top, you're gonna wanna click under the advanced and then once again, click on privacy and security. Scroll all the way down almost to the bottom to where you see the autofill if you don't see that, you may need to uh, drop this little advance down here and that should open up the next section. That should do it when you click on this, but it may not. Anyway, if you do that, you've got your autofill data right here where again, you've got your passwords, your payment methods, addresses, and more. So if we click on one, very similar toggle switches to turn them on and off. Anything saved will here. Anything that you've opted not to save will appear there as well. Same thing with the payment methods. You've got the toggle switch to turn uh, whether to save it on or off. And then of course, anything that's saved is going to appear here. And once again, you can manually add things if you need to. And of course the addresses and more toggle switch on and off. If you need to add one, you can click on that, fill out that information and that will save it right here. So as you can see, Across almost all of the browsers, they are very similar when it comes to saving and storing that information. So you can go into here to the Opera browser and of course, turn that on that stuff on and off. Now, the last browser that we're gonna look at today is uh, Apple's Safari. So to do this, open up Safari and then move your mouse at the very top of the screen and hover there until you get your toolbar. Then you're gonna want to click on Safari and then click on Preferences. You can also open up these by hitting uh, command and comma at the same time, and that'll bring up your Safari preferences. Once you've done that, right along the top side, you've got your autofill icon. You can click on that, and you have the option to uh, disable or enable using information from my contacts, use, uh, usernames and passwords, credit cards, and other forms. And of course, you can check and uncheck these depending on if you want that stuff saved. You can also click on edit, and that's gonna ask you to type in your admin password. So you will need to have admin in order to get into your settings or at least the password it is for your account. If you have a touch bar like I do, you can use your thumbprint and that will allow you to go in and edit and or add any type of passwords or autofill data. Uh, same thing going back to autofill, you can go back to credit cards. Same thing if you click on edit, you'll need to type in your password again and you can add, remove, edit any type of credit cards that you would see listed in here. Like I said, I don't use Safari a lot. I still use Chrome even on my Mac, and so I don't have any information stored on these browsers. Once you're done in there, you can click Done, and you, of course, on the other forms, you can click Edit once again, and that will save like your autofill data for like your addresses, uh, your name, things like that will be stored in here where you can remove or edit those as well. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. And like I said, each one of these browsers kind of has their own way to do it, but uh, most of them are pretty similar. So now you guys can go in and manage your form data in case there's some addresses or some old data that you have in there that you want to remove, you should have the ability uh, or the know-how to do so. So again, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. One, two, like, share, like, share, and subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. And if you do have any other comments, feel free to reach out below. And if you wanna support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of cool merch over there from like pens and stickers and hat, just like this one. Just note that this one does have a green bill, just for full disclosure. It is a green bill, but if you like that, be sure to check that stuff out. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support and uh, help us continue to grow this channel. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <gasps>